If you uh, take your Bibles and turn to the 11th chapter of Romans, we're going to start reading at verse 11. This is God's holy and inspired word. I say then, they did not stumble so as to fall, did they? May it never be. But by their transgression, salvation has come to the Gentiles to make them jealous. Now, if their transgression is riches for the world and their failure or their loss is riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their fullness or fulfillment be? But I'm speaking to you who are Gentiles, and as much then as I am an apostle of Gentiles, I magnify my ministry. If somehow I might move to jealousy my fellow countrymen and save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? If the first piece of dough is holy, the lump is also, and if the root is holy, the branches are too. But if some of the branches were broken off and you, being a wild olive, were grafted in in among them and became a partaker with them of the rich root of the olive tree, do not be arrogant toward the branches. But if you are arrogant, remember, it is not you who supports the root, but the root supports you. You will say then, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. Quite right, they were broken off for their unbelief. But you stand by your faith. Do not be conceited, but fear. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he will not spare you either. Behold...